Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my cat paw print design and also my dog paw print design. So for this video, you're just gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need either paper or whatever you like to use to put your paint on, top coat or favorite gel polish, acrylic matte paint, I'm using black, your dotting tool, or you could probably do this with a toothpick if you don't have one. And then you're just going to need paper towel just to wipe your tool off on. We are going to start with our dog paw print design. We're just going to put a little bit of paint on our dotting tool. I'm using the larger end of my dotting tool. I'm just going to do an upside down heart. And then I'm just going to fill that in. And then I'm just going to do four little dots just around the top of the point of the heart. Now I do like to round out my points. I don't like it to be super pointy like an actual heart. I'm going to do three more on this nail. So it kind of looks like the dog's running down your fingernail. So why I like to use the matte acrylic paint, which I do get from Walmart, um, you can get a small bottle for like 70 cents maybe, um, but I like to use the matte because it turns matte when it's dry, so you don't have to worry about touching it real quick with your finger to see if it's dry or waiting a long amount of time. As soon as it turns matte, you can go ahead and top coat it. So that's our second paw print. Going to do two more. And you can do these in any pattern you want. If you want to just do two of them, like how I'm going to do the cat paw prints, you could do that. If you want to do just one large paw print right in the center of your nail, you can do that. These are really fun to do. This is one of the first designs I learned how to do when I wanted to start doing my own and it's just a fun design to do and it's easy and you can switch up the colors and the sizes and the pattern that you place them on. So again, just an upside down heart with four little dots around the top. Wipe off our tool. And that's how you do the dog print design. Really super simple. Just wiping off my tool really good. Now I'm going to show you how I do my cat paw print design. Same exact way as the dog paw print. We're just doing one little added step. So again, we're going to do an upside down heart. Kind of curve that point just a little bit. I am doing these just a little bit bigger than the dog print ones just because I'm only doing two. So there's our upside down heart. And then we're just going to fill it in. And just with the dog paw print, we're just going to go ahead and do four little dots right around the top. Just like that. One last dot. And there you go. Now I'm going to swap, switch my dotting tool around. So I'm using the smaller end now. And I'm just going to take it and just pull just the center of one of those dots up. So it gives that claw, cat claw look to it. I'm not adding any extra paint on my dotting tool. The paint's still wet enough to where I can just drag just a little bit. And I don't want to put any more paint on my dotting tool and have it start running because I want that thin claw look to it. So I'm just going to do one more. Again, upside down heart. Filling it in. And there's our heart. You'll notice my points in my hearts are never completely pointed. I always round them out just a little bit. And then our four little dots. Okay, 
I'm gonna wipe my tool off. Now I'm gonna switch back to the smaller end and just pull the center of those dots up just slightly. Just so it gives just the tip of a nail look for the cat claw. And that's it. You could probably even do this with a toothpick if you're just super easy not to scrape it against your nail too, too much. But you could do this with any color, like I said, any pattern, design, if you want to just do one huge one, or you could even mix it up and do one dog print and one cat print on the same nail, you could do that. They're really fun. My sister actually loves getting these now. She's gotten them done both times now that I've done her nails. I think we did, her picture was in the beginning of, of this video with the pink and the white one. So she loves getting the paw prints. And I'm just gonna fan it just a little bit because I had one teeny spot on the nail that was not matted yet, still looked a little wet. So I'm just fanning it really quickly. The paint really does dry super, super fast. It's not like nail polish when you think it's dry and then it's tacky and then you accidentally touch it and mess your whole nail up. So I am just showing you our finished look of the paw print. Now I'm just going to take, I like to use OPI top coat. It's one of my favorites. And that's the top coat that I like to use when I'm doing my swatches or practicing my designs. I'm not pushing down super, super hard. I'm just kind of letting it float. And there it is, all top coated and just needs to dry for a couple seconds and then that's done. Now I'm just going to top coat my cat paw print design that I just did. So I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys get some acrylic paint if you don't have some and just give it a try. It's really fun. You could do a bare one too if you don't if you just do a circle instead of the heart and then just some dots around it. You could do a bare print too. So you can really do a whole lot with this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. The next video that I'm going to do is going to be a flower print design like this one so that one's really fun really easy you can do that with the dotting tool as well so i hope you guys will stay tuned for that that'll be coming up in the next design video these are my giraffe slash turtle nails that as my son calls them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time